What's one thing buyers, sellers, renters, and landlords all have in common? They can all fall victim to real estate scams. In fact, home-related hoaxes are on the rise. Losses from real estate cybercrimes have gone up nearly as fast as home prices, totaling more than $350 million last year, an increase of 64%, according to the FBI's most recent internet crime report. Wire fraud is the most common kind of real estate scam. Other crimes include fake real estate transactions, business email compromise schemes, and criminal use of cryptocurrency. Simply being aware and on the lookout for common fraud is essential if you want to hold on to your cash and your peace of mind. Here are the most common real estate frauds happening now and advice on how to avoid them. Number one, rental scams. Rental scams come in many forms and can have far-reaching consequences for your financial future. More than 5.2 million renters in the U.S. lose money in a given year because of rental scams. Fake rental advertisements are on the rise. For example, a con artist or a group posts a false rental ad and asks a potential tenant for a deposit or lease payment. It starts with an online listing for a rental property that is too good to be true. The rent is significantly lower than market value and the photos look amazing. When you contact the landlord, quote unquote, they will say they are out of town and unable to show the property in person. They will ask you to wire the deposit and first month's rent sight unseen. Of course, once you send the money, you'll never hear from them again. Do not work with any landlord or agent who requests money or wire transfers before you see a place. Number two, wire scams. Real estate wire scams come in many different forms, but most involve a fundamental fake out. This is basically a scam where someone pretends to be your real estate agent by hacking into or copying their contact information and calling you to deposit good faith money into a fake bank account. To avoid this, you should always meet your real estate agent face to face to ensure everything is on the up and up before fulfilling any request for a money transfer. Number three, the bait and switch. The bait and switch trick is as old as time, but it is getting new legs as more inexperienced buyers try to sort out the ups and downs of the real estate market. This is one of the most common scams, especially in large metropolitan areas. The scam artist will advertise a property for sale or rent at an unbeatable price. When you call or email to inquire about the property, they will say it has already been sold or rented, but they have others that are just as good. They will try to get you to tour the other properties, which are usually overpriced or in poor condition. To avoid this scam, research the agents and make sure they have legitimate business experience before agreeing to see any listings. Number four, faking interest. Hyping up a property's appeal is usually par for the course and relatively innocent, but there is a line that is increasingly being crossed by fraudsters' intent on unloading less than loved homes. The overhype or pressurized offer process is happening with more regularity for some properties. In fact, you may even see this for homes that have been sitting on the market for months on end. You will call and ask about the listing and current situation only to find that apparently there's tons of activity and offers being drafted from multiple buyers. How can that be? Why all of a sudden is this a popular property? If you get the feeling you're being oversold, stick to your gut. Don't feel pressured by what you hear from a listing agent and don't change your plan based on the stress of the in the moment offer process. Number five, a lockout clause. Fraud involving a lockout clause is particularly dangerous because so much is on the line. Home sellers in financial straits are a common target of this con. A buyer, also known as the con artist, who seems to be in a hurry to close the deal may pressure you into a contract with a hold clause that bans you from selling your home to anybody else. The con artist gambles that you will pay any amount to get the deal done quickly and uses that knowledge to his advantage by asking for admin fees or even a drop in the agreed upon price. To avoid this scam, read every contract carefully and realize that when you sign, you're on the hook for anything in there. If the buyer is impatient and demanding, consider that a big red flag. If you do suspect you're being targeted for fraud, 
Let your bank know immediately and then contact your local FBI office.